They kept the Lord building the house. They labored in vain to build it. Dearly beloved, we are assembled in the presence of God. She unites this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is instituted of God, regulated by His commandments, blessed of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to be held in honor among all men. This safe relation is to be entered into soberly, advisedly, discreetly, reverently, and in the fear of God. Into this beautiful and holy relationship, these two persons desire now to enter. They desire to take each the other as husband and wife for prosperity, for adversity, sickness or health, poverty or riches, and to perform all duties belonging to such relations to the end of life. To some of these duties as laid down in the Holy Scripture, I now call your attention. God said it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate for him. Our Lord declares for this cause, shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife, and they twine shall be one flesh. The Apostle Paul, speaking by the Holy Spirit, says, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. May the spirit of Ruth, the ancestors of our Lord, come to this temple as a journey to life together. Entreat me not to leave thee or return from following after thee. For whether thou goest, I will go, or thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy home. If the solemn vow you're about to make be kept faithfully, and if steadfast to you in doubt to do the will of your heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy, and the home you are establishing will abide in peace. I teach you both to seek the help of God in the sacred moment and to look to him steadfastly for his love and grace, which will make your marriage rich in comfort and fruitful in service. Tommy, will you take Nicole to be your way to walk, to cherish her and live with her according to God's holy order? Will you pledge your loyalty to her promise of love, honor, comfort, and keep her in health, in his sickness, in prosperity, and adversity, and keep yourself as her, her only so long as you both shall live, if so I answer I will. I will. Nicole, will you take Tommy to be your wedded husband, to cherish him and live with him according to God's own order? Will you pledge your loyalty to him and promise to love, honor, comfort, and keep him in health and in sickness and prosperity and adversity, and keep yourself unto him only so long as you both shall live? If so, answer. I will. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. In token of your readiness to assume these solemn obligations, you will now join your right hands while I propose to you the marriage covenant. Tommy, will you repeat after me? I, Tommy, take thee to cold to be my wedded wife. I, Tommy, take thee to cold to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this time forth. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poor. For richer for poor. In health and in sickness. In health and sickness. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. Holy ordinance. And to this I do pledge thee my faith. And to this, and to this I do pledge thee pledge me. my faith. My faith. The goal you repeat as to me. I and the goal will take thee, Tommy, to be my wedded husband. I and the goal will take thee, Tommy, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this time forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In health and in sickness. For health and in sickness. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy order. According to God's holy order. And to this I do 
pledge thee my faith. And to this I do pledge thee my faith. Tell me what token do you offer that you will fulfill these vows that you have taken? This ring. Today you join your separate lives together, the two separate bottles of sand symbolizing your separate lives, separate families, and separate sets of friends. They represent all that you are and all that you will be, ever be as an individual. They also represent your life before today. As these two containers, of sand are poured. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Tommy Little III. 